Hello and welcome to Springdale High School. Bulldog Arena. Our final time here, hopefully, the new gym they are building will be done in December and we will be done with coming to the old gym that was here when I was a student. I'm Blair Cartwright, glad you are with us on the Bentonville Sports Network. For the Tigers and the Bulldogs, this one should be a good one. I think the PA announcer is saying something, but I can't understand a word he says. So, oh, yeah, okay. He's introducing the starting lineup. So, and so we will have our starting lineup. Normally, you can understand the PA announcer, but again, here, you cannot do that because it's. <laughs> so, Aiden, Caden. Jalen, Javen, and Mikey. Mr. Grippy, of course, Nick Grippy, our head coach. And now the music will blare up, and then he really totally can't hear anything in this gym. Because the PA system can't die soon enough. Whoops, I accidentally hit the camera. Oh my goodness, it's a learning. Okay, side baits. Portland Muldrew. I didn't even have his jersey on. Tangness. Is that a 30? Seeley. And then Mr. Tate. Okay. So there we go. So Muldrew, Bates. Tangness, Seeley, and Taint. Muldrew, number three, is the one we got to worry about. He is the 6'3 sophomore that he's the straw that stirs the drink in Springdale. Tigers in the road gold uniforms, the black numbers, white trim. Waller, Lee, Miller, Williams, Dowda are starting five. Bulldogs in the home whites. Red numerals, black trim, very hard to read for old people like myself who are sitting way up top in the crow's nest or whatever you want to call it where we're at now. All right, we're underway. Here we go. The opening tip from Tommy Kraft. And the dogs have control early on. Tigers in a man-to-man. -man. Springdale struggles against his zone. We'll see if Coach Rip unleashes his zone on him at some point. Muldrew thought about it, now kicks it over and gets it back. And we've got to travel. Gray's normally with us, got some honeydews. So you're going to have to just deal with me tonight. I'm sorry. Miller knocked away by Tangus. Laid it up and in. And Springdale's on the board quickly the other way. Here comes Williams. They're extending this further out than we'd like on offense. In the corner. Not sure who's down there. Here comes Miller with a slam. How about that? Yeah. Caden. 
ties it at two. Missed shot, rebound Tigers, here we go. Williams drives, he's fouled by Seeley. Little reach by Isaiah Seeley. It is loud, they're gonna have to blow some really loud whistles. Jeremy Price, the head coach of Springdale, pleading with Tommy Kraft for a call. Tommy's heard it all before. Williams for three, no. Long rebound, Tigers with it. Muldrew wants to drive, had it knocked away, and they're gonna call who? If it's either Dowda or Lee, they're gonna call Jalen for the foul. Mm. 6.36 to go, opening quarter. He was not shooting. Some people are saying he was shooting. He wasn't shooting. He was, he was on the floor. Come on. Inside, Seeley. Muldrew almost had it taken away by Lee. Oh, they wanted to call there. That was just good defense. Come on. These two met in the Osho, and I have a feeling it was probably not the friendliest of battles. The Tigers were victorious. Inside, the big man Tate wants to back down. Miller got it up and in. Tate nailed his ground. They let Tate bang into him. Not much you can do there. Lee, nice pass. Williams thought about it. Back from Miller in the corner. Here comes Waller to the 10. And he's fouled by Tate. Oh, yeah, that was nice. So Aiden will go to the line for a pair. Like the aggression. Take it right at these guys. Price pleading again with Mr. Kraft. Aiden knocks down the free throw. There we go. We need those tonight. That's going to be key. Aiden's first basket. 5.47 to go. Glad you're with us in the Bentonville Sports Network. Left that one short. And he got the rebound back and put it up and in. How about that? That is fantastic. That is why you follow your shot, kids. Did it go? I think it did. Dead burn. Who'd they call it on? I don't know. You can't understand what the PA guy says, but Seeley got the foul. For an and one here. Got it. We'll tie it. Or no, they're up 7-5. Lee has to get backed out. Williams down out, lost it momentarily, got it back. 14 on the shot clock. Down it wants to drive. Nice job. Waller open for three. Got it. Tigers back up by one. 8 7. Seeley a little strong. Nice rebound by Miller. Kicks it out. Tigers want to run. Yes. Muldrew trying to draw contact on Lee. No good. Tate inside. Miller with a good positioning. Alters the shot and gets the rebound. Ends up in the hand of Williams. Here come the Tigers. It's a track meet early. Lee, strong to the hole. That's going to be a foul on Bates. Great job. Oh, it is fast and furious. Boy, Price is whining a lot. 
I know Jeremy. I like Jeremy, but he does. He's really whining a lot. Full timeout. Let's take the timeout with him. Tiger basketball here on the Bentonville Sports Network. Springdale, 419 to go. First quarter. Tigers in front, 11 to 7. These Tiger students have made their way down here to the Dale, as we refer to it at times. Glad they are with us. Lee at the line. Missed it. Wait, shouldn't it be two? Why is he just shooting one? <sighs> Goodness. And we all have those days. Everybody's been off for a week. We're a little out of sorts. One more for Jalen. Missed it. Missed them both. That's very uncharacteristic. Mr. Lee. Tigers. Good defense. Here we go. Seeley way up top. Oh, to pan out. He's so far out there. Muldrew with Lee on him. Not able to do much tape. Miller's not going to go out and chase him. That's kind of what that was designed for. Now Tate trying to post up inside. Miller doing a good job. Denying. Seven on the shot clock. Seeley. He walked. He bumped into Waller and then walked. 3.46 to go. Some tension in this one, I feel, in the gym tonight. Williams off the feed from Lee. 25 on the shot clock. Jalen up top. Mulder on him. Here comes the screen from Miller. Three pointer over the Bulldog, no good. Angus with the rebound. That was, that would have been a heck of a shot if he knocked that down. Muldrew, he's been pretty quiet. Seeley. Bates really pushing Dowd out of the way. Tate inside. Good job by Miller to alter that one. And Bates got it in, and we got a whistle. Jalen came out of the shoe. And I think we got to delay a game warning on Springdale. Xander Collins checks in, and Mr. Williams checks out. Gets a hug from Mophie on the bench, as you can see. 3.06 to go. Opening quarter. Intense, to say the least. 11-9. Aiden up top. Dowda. Miller wants it down low. Tate behind him. Collins. Waller. Back over to Collins. He'll drive baseline. Nice move. Lost the handle. Gets bumped by Tate. They, they play on. Turnover. Bates open for three. That's no good. Waller with the easy rebound. Coach Price might want to get the blood pressure checked at halftime. He has been into it. Miller goes up strong and is fouled. I don't know how that ball stayed out of the cylinder, but what a job by Caden Miller. Miller to drive strong to the basket. Oh, I love the aggression. 
no idea who the foul was on. I think it was on Tate. It was either Tate or Bates, but again, we can't tell. Because the PA announces you can't understand a word he says. Twelve nine. Mr. Deerman has joined the party. And Mr. Wilhelm is set to join it now, and he will. As Caden will take a seat. 13-9, Tigers. It's been a fun one so far. Springdale put 80 up, 81 last night. Wilhelm on Tate. Tate hit the deck. Oh, nice feed. And a great basket. Tate trying to snowbird. Oh, he runs over Wilhelm, and they're going to call a block. That's a makeup call. Totally. They just plowed right over him. I mean, there's, and now they're having to separate. There's a little trash talking going on. Seeley having some words with Jalen, and now the officials are going to get together, and they're going to have to rein this one in. It's getting chippy. Here, we'll move the scoreboard down a little bit. There we go. We'll move that to the bottom of the screen. Tate's free throw banked home. And he got the basket. So it is 15 to 12. We got a three point ball game. Here comes the pressure. Tigers extended out. Boy, they really extended out. Well, they knocked it loose. Muldrew slams it home. We're tied. Or no, it's a one point lead for the Tigers. We got a timeout. Or what do we got here? Muldrew might have got a T. I think he did. He got a technical. He was doing a little taunting. That is not a smart idea. And the Springdale coaches are irate at Muldrew. Yeah, you, you got to know better than that. I know he's a talented sophomore, but you just you can't do that. You hurt your team by doing that. Leo shoot the technical. It's loud. Oh, and Jalen missed the first. He's got one more. I don't even need a crowd mic right now, do I? It is loud. Williams checks back in. Collins sits. Lee, one more free throw. They missed them both. Seriously? Oh, and now what's going on at half court? Oh, Tommy's having a little, uh, little meeting with everybody saying we're going to nip this stuff in the bud. Good for him. I'm glad he's taking control of this. They need it. And that's good officiating. you got to get them together and say, hey, we're not going to allow this. We're not going to tolerate it, and let's move forward. And if you can't, we'll, we'll excuse you from the ball game. Hold on. What do we got here? Tommy's headed to the official score. I don't know if the, oh, I don't think the shot clock restarted. It's still at 35. So the shot clock never started. I think that's what it was. 121 to go in regulation. Should be like 32 on the shot clock. Yeah, we're just gonna pick it up to 35. All right, eh, not much you can do. Technology, whoa. Hold on. I'm not sure. Okay, he blew the whistle dead. Okay, now there's 29 on the shot clock. Oh, that's what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know the six seconds came off, but we'll take it. Williams for three. Got it! Big three-pointer. Javen Williams. Four-point lead for the Tigers. Muldrew wants to drive, has to give it up. Gets it back, though. 20 on the shot clock. Wants to drive again. Off the window, too strong, but it's put back. Up and in 
by Gazaway. Here come the Tigers in the corner drive, kick out. Waller for three, no, got his own rebound, lost it momentarily. Lee, nice feed to Wilhelm, and we got a block as Tangus hits the deck. He's not happy with the official, but you got to be careful. Everybody's been warned a little too much demonstrative behavior will result in a technical at this point. 36.8, new shot clock for the Tigers. Dearman for three, got it. Bang. And the Tigers, with a little run here, have opened the lead up to five. Ho oh, ho! Springdale content to hold it for the last shot. 15, 14, 13. Seeley waits. 10 seconds. Here they go. In motion. Who's going to take the shot? Seeley wants to take it. Did he travel? No, they're going to call Wilhelm. With the foul. <laughs> Elijah. Oh, they're going to say gave him the knee. Mm. 4.9 to go. Muldrew for three. Oh, hit the top of the board. Hit the top of the board. Or are we going to say quarter? We're going to say quarter. All right. So it's the end of the first. Wow. That was a wild opening quarter. We'll return. Tigers lead it 21-16 on the Bentonville Sports Network. People do business with First Western because First Western builds relationships with their customers. They work to help you with your financial goals over all seasons of life. They are prompt and responsive. Plus, they offer banking, mortgage, insurance, and investment services. For a high level of service and financial partner who will listen and respond, try First Western online at firstwestern.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Insurance investment products are not FDIC insured. 21-16 is our score after we get ready for the start of the second quarter. We've had a little bit of everything. We've had a technical. We've had a couple of... Uh, this is how we're going to do it, meetings with players and officials. See, tensions are a little high. The Tigers ended it, though, with a little run there at the end of the first quarter. So they lead it by 5, 21-16. It's been entertaining, no question about that. There's some serious John going on on the floor. I was never really a trash talker, so I don't get it, but that's the way it is now. Lee, floater. Oh, Miller rams it home. How about that? Yeah. Beautiful. Muldrew off the window. No good. Oh, Williams couldn't corral it. Went off of him. Oh, what a lob to Caden, and he threw that baby down. Oh, I love it. The aggressive play of the Tigers. Tell you what, Miller's doing a good job battling Tate inside. And now they go inside to Tate, and Tangus threw it away. Boy, everything that goes wrong for Springdale, they start they're kind of whining. Williams over to Lee. Here comes Miller to set a screen. Lee wants to drive, found an opening, and laid it off the window. Oh, that was pretty. The lead is nine. Mulder wants to answer, gets cut off. Gazaway leans into Deerman. Long rebound. Mulder fires up a three. That's off the mark. Miller, easy rebound. Nice job. another basket. Springdale's going to take a timeout.
the lead is the biggest it's been all night for the Tigers at 27-16. 6.45 to go in quarter number two until we reach halftime. The Lady Tigers were victorious 60-38. to West plays Fayetteville tonight, so the top four teams in the conference all squaring off tonight. West on top at 8-1. Harvard's eight and two. I guess they have the night off. Who's West playing? I forgot who West is playing. Oh, they're playing Fayetteville. Duh. Fayetteville's four and four. So, scratch what I said earlier. Muldrew on Lee. That is a heck of a battle right there. Lee's held the sophomore in check. And they're making the dogs extend further than they want. Seeley, a pull-up jumper, won't go. Miller, another big rebound. He's doing a great job in the paint against the big man, Tate. 6.17 to go. Drive, kick out in the corner. Here's Dearman for three, no good. Miller got the great rebound positioning and puts it back up and in. Caden Miller extends the lead. It's 13 for the Tigers as they're up 29 to 16. Oh, they are cooking right now. Mulder trying to do it all himself. Drives inside, Miller says, get it out of here. Williams feeds Dearman a lot of contact. We're gonna have a foul on Springdale as Tangus hits the deck hard and they're gonna call him for the foul. Tangus Picks up the foul. Dearman goes to the line. Tigers looking good early on in this one. Owen looking for his first points of the ball game. Got that one. Springdale is going to send Bates in and Zion Sanders checks in. Muldrew and Tangus check out. Dad is going to check in if Owen can knock this one down. Couldn't get it to go. Bates with the rebound. Good defense by the Tigers. Tate wants it down low. Oh, nice job by Lee to swat it away. Sanders leaves it out. Here comes Bates. Cut off. Working it around. Gazaway for three. That's off the mark at the top of the board. And it will be our ball. Dowd is going to check in. Dearman checks out. Owen's got the one-sleeved leg. Tiger's slowing it down. Get it across. Okay, good. Oh, stolen away by Seeley almost. Lee wants to drive, and he's fouled by Sanders. That is eighth team foul, so we're in the bonus now. Free throws coming for Jalen. That's what the PA announcer sounds like if you're not here. So you're really not missing anything. There we go. Oh, did I give him too many? Whoops, wrong way. It should be 30, shouldn't it? Okay, 30 to 18 is what the scoreboard shows. I don't think that's correct, but I guess it is. Springfield's going to spread it out and slow it down. I'm a little surprised by this. Down 12 with just under five minutes to go. Gets away, a little out of control, and then get it back up top here. Seeley, he wants a screen. Gets, oh, my gosh, that's a moving screen. 
Are they going to call Williams? Are you serious? Jeez, he got hooked. Coach Rip's not real happy. I don't blame him. He grabbed him. He grabbed him and brought him down. And they called a foul on Jamin. Seeley, thumbs up the call. Dowder guards him, 27 on the shot clock, 434 in the game. Seeley walked like James Harden walking across an NBA floor as Springdale gets the basket. That was Mr. Bates. No extend the pressure. Lee thought about it, brought it back down. We're going to take our time. Seven on the shot clock. Lee kicks it out. Williams for three. Off the mark. High rebound. Bates has it. 3.50 to go. Sanders in the corner. Cut off by Miller. That's a big size disadvantage for Springdale. Gazaway wants to drive. He traveled. And they're going to call who? They're going to call... Javen for a reach. All right. Hmm. That's six team fouls on us. Springdale will be in the bonus at the next one. Gazaway comes out. Muldrew comes in. I would imagine he will look to shoot. He is going to inbound the ball first. He does. Gets it to Seeley. Down, I did a nice job of cutting him off in the air ball. Easily rebounded by the Tigers. Here comes some pressure from the Dogs. Collins gets it across. Nice job. Dowda leaves it for Collins in the corner. Now Dowda for three. Oh, it's a little strong. Muldrew just absolutely elevates. And they're going to call a block and count the basket, I believe. They're going to call Mophie for the block. So now the dogs are in the bonus. They didn't count the basket. Count the basket, right? Or was it before the basket? They're going to check. Should count the basket. Checking with the scores table. Yeah, they're going to count the basket. Eight-point game. Muldrew elevated big time. Supposedly, uh, Kansas was in here the other day. Nebraska. You got it. Used every bit of the rim and substitutions. As Waller and Dearman check in, Dowda and Mophie check out. And what? Tommy is checking with something. Uh, not sure what the. Oh, I think there's a question on maybe who the foul was. Uh, I guess. We're going to have a stoppage in play. I'm not sure what's going on. They're checking with the scores table about something. The foul I thought was on. Mophy clearly 307 to go in the second. We'll keep it here. I'm not sure. Okay, now we're ready. I guess we got it all settled. I'm not sure what the confusion was. Huh? All right, I don't know what it is. Something's goofy. I can't see the far scoreboard, so I don't know if it's something to do with that or not. Anyway, here we go. Three minutes to go until halftime. Xander got it back from Waller. Back over to Waller now. Miller high post. Nice kick to Waller off the back door. Good. Beautiful pass from Caden. 
Dade. Oh, that was nice. Seely. Oh. Late whistle. You wonder if they would have called it if it drops. Caden picks up the foul. 2.38 to go. Hmm. You get the feeling if that basket goes in, he didn't call it. Which, I don't know, foul's a foul, right? We talk about that, seems like, every game. Seeley knocks the first one down. So it's a 10-point ball game at this point. Oh, I shorted the Tigers two points. There we go. 34-25. Xander brings it down, brings it across. Backs it out. Inside, Miller, back to Collins. Wants to drive baseline, nice feed to Miller off the window, get in there, it does. Yeah. Nice job by Caden to finish strong at the basket. Muldrew a three, maybe rushed it. Collins with the easy rebound. Tigers, look like they wanted to run, now slow it down. Xander pulls up, oh, that was a brick. Sanders quickly ahead. Muldrew, Snowbird, off the window, good. A little Snowbird action. Muldrew and Lee, that is a battle. Lee's shaking him off. Dearman, thought about it. Miller, high post, he's got Waller in the corner. Here comes Collins. Miller, high post, Collins, Waller. Cross court, good ball movement. Deerman for three, got it, splash. Oh, that was beautiful. Great ball movement by the Tigers. Seeley drops a dime. And it's a nine point game. 110 to go. Wow. Entertaining to say the least. Collins, Seeley on him. Trying to reach around. Waller to the 10. Up and in. Oh, what a move. Aiden Waller. Oh, my goodness. The reverse. That was beautiful. And they're going to call Jalen with the foul up top. What a move by Aiden to go baseline and then reverse layup. Beautiful. Mulder at the line. And I'm not sure how many that is on Jalen. There may be three, I don't know. Missed the free throw though. Miller with the rebound. 42 seconds left until halftime. Collins pulls up from three. That's an air ball. Student section will let him know about that. Shot clock's off, 33.8. Tigers with an 11 point lead. Springfield can cut it to single digits with a basket. I would assume they're going to hold it for one. Muldrew, I would imagine, is going to take the shot, too. Williams guards him. Sophomore on sophomore. Bench is shouting out instructions. Price says go. Muldrew immediately into a double team. The Tate kick out. Here comes Seeley. Wants to drive. Hangs in the air. Miller with some pretty good positioning. They didn't call it any contact, which is fine. So it's halftime. Tigers lead it 41 to 32. Hope you are entertained. This has been a fun first half. We've still got one more half to go. We'll take a timeout and return. This is Tiger Basketball on the Bentonville Sports Network. Training. That teen was texting. The deer was crossing. The guy was looking at his map. At Bob Morris Auto Body, no matter the excuse, they'll fix it for you. Look us up on the web. Call or come by now. Make sure you pay attention. Watch out for that. 
Bob Morris Auto Body. It's your car. It's your choice. Choose wisely at BobMoriAutoBody.com. Absolute Janitorial Service is a family-owned and operated commercial cleaning company serving all of Northwest Arkansas. We have a long track record for exceptional service and clear communication. We clean multiple facility types, including office buildings, medical facilities, manufacturing plants, churches, schools, and much more. Give Absolute Janitorial Service a call today for a free quote and see what an absolute difference our services can make for your business. Even know I can make your hands clap. Said I can make your hands clap. Somebody save your soul, cause you've been sinning in the city. I know too many troubles, all these lovers got to lose control. You like a drug to me, a luxury, my sugar. At Northwest Health System Bentonville and Springdale, we understand that life is too short to spend hours in an ER waiting room. And we know that in an emergency, minutes really do matter. So our entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a clinical professional in 30 minutes or less because we think you should spend less time waiting and more time feeling better. The 30 minutes or less ER service pledge only at Northwest Health System Bentonville and Springdale. My dad calls it the it factor. So that thing that separates you that makes you tick. Ultimately, my it factor came when I grew more confidence. Everybody has a role on a team, whether you're a scout team player or the star player. The older that I've gotten, the more that I've worked, and the more success that I've had, the more confidence that I had, and the more that I'm willing to risk and take a little bit of chances to help my team win. Hello, I'm Jason Ho, General Manager of McClarty Daniel Ford Lincoln, Bentonville, Arkansas, and I want to buy your car. If you have any extra vehicles, regardless of your make, model, year, age, tires, glass, doesn't matter, I will pay you way too much for it. I'll take care of all titling issues. I'll take care of any background issues that the vehicle has. Whatever you thought it's been worth in the past, I will pay you more. All I ask for is a 15-minute appraisal. You can do so at BentonvilleFord.com. My check cashes every time. Why do people do business with First Western? Because First Western builds relationships with their customers. They work to help you with your financial goals over all seasons of life. They are prompt and responsive. Plus, they offer banking, mortgage, insurance, and investment services. For a high level of service and financial partner who will listen and respond, try First Western. Online at firstwestern.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Insurance investment products are not FDIC insured. At our house is tea time. Owning a home means there is a time and place for everything. If you need money for your next home loan, let Rock Mortgage help you get into your new home fast. At Grand Savings Bank, we believe that life is grand. We empower our team to support the needs of our local communities and are dedicated to delivering the very best financial expertise to our customers. Like you, we live here, and together we positively and powerfully impact our community. With 11 locations serving Northwest Arkansas, Northeast Oklahoma, and the River Valley, we're proud to be your community bank. Come talk to us today at Grand Savings Bank, where life is grand. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Teachers and all service providers, if you are buying or selling real estate, I am a NWA hero is for you. Together with Don Richardson with Fathom Realty and Lisa Sumi with Nexa Mortgage and Title Tech Bentonville, you will receive first-hand rebates that will save you thousands, rather buying or selling real estate, using the homes for heroes. Go to imanwahero.com. No gimmicks, no fees, no red tape, only savings. Thank you for doing what you do so we can do what we do. Sometimes 
virtual reality begs for more reality. Jack Lynx is good with it. Raining. That teen was texting. The deer was crossing. The guy was looking at his map. At Bob Morris Auto Body, no matter the excuse, they'll fix it for you. Look us up on the web. Call or come by now. Make sure you pay attention. Watch out for that. Bob Morris Auto Body. It's your car. It's your choice. Choose wisely. At BobMorrisAutoBody.com. Absolute Janitorial Service is a family-owned and operated commercial cleaning company serving all of Northwest Arkansas. We have a long track record for exceptional service and clear communication. We clean multiple facility types, including office buildings, medical facilities, manufacturing plants, churches, schools, and much more. Give Absolute Janitorial Service a call today for a free quote and see what an absolute difference our services can make for your business. Northwest Health System Bentonville and Springdale, we understand that life is too short to spend hours in an ER waiting room. And we know that in an emergency, minutes really do matter. So our entire team is committed to working diligently to have you initially seen by a clinical professional in 30 minutes or less because we think you should spend less time waiting and more time feeling better. The 30 minutes or less ER service pledge only at Northwest Health System Bentonville and Springdale. My dad calls it the it factor. So that thing that separates you, that makes you tick. Ultimately, my it factor came when I grew more confidence. Everybody has a role on a team, whether you're a scout team player or the star player. The older that I've gotten, the more that I've worked, and the more success that I've had, the more confidence that I had, and the more that I'm willing to risk and take a little bit of chances to help my team win. Hello, I'm Jason Ho, General Manager of McClarty Daniel Ford Lincoln, Bentonville, Arkansas, and I want to buy your car. If you have any extra vehicles, regardless of your make, model, year, age, tires, glass, doesn't matter, I will pay you way too much for it. I'll take care of all titling issues. I'll take care of any background issues that the vehicle has. Whatever you've thought it's been worth in the past, I will pay you more. All I ask for is a 15-minute appraisal. You can do so at BentonvilleFord.com. My check cashes every time. Why do people do business with First Western? Because First Western builds relationships with their customers. They work to help you with your financial goals over all seasons of life. They are prompt and responsive. Plus, they offer banking, mortgage, insurance, and investment services. For a high level of service and financial partner who will listen and respond, try First Western. Online at firstwestern.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Insurance investment products are not FDIC insured. At our house. All right, we are ready for quarter number three. This has been a fun one. Tigers lead it by nine here at Springdale. Thank you to Rock Mortgage and all our sponsors. We appreciate everything they do for the Tigers and the Lady Tigers. 
Springdale gets the ball to open quarter number three. A lob inside for Sealy, knocked away by Waller out of bounds. It's going to stay with the dogs. 7.51 to go. Third quarter, 26 on the shot clock. Tangus for three, no off the mark. Miller with an easy rebound. Tangus knocks it loose somehow. Went to the deck and it wasn't a turnover and then it goes out of bounds in the Springdale bench. It'll be Tiger basketball. I was gonna say. All right, Tigers bringing it across. Williams lost it momentarily, got it back. Needs some help, kicks it over to Dowda. Mikey looking inside to Caden. Cut, here's Javon for three, no. Rebound, Seeley. Oh my goodness, Seeley walked. Yes, he did. Can't do that, it's frowned upon. Lead to the basket. No, Miller couldn't tip it. Tangus with the rebound. He'll bring it down. Mulgrew backs it out. Williams guards him now. He wants to drive inside and somehow coaxed a foul out of Tommy Kraft. He's going to say Williams got him with the elbow. Interesting. Miller having a discussion down low with the official about Tate's little slide into him. And I don't know what we're waiting on. Oh, it's going to inbound on the baseline. That's what we're waiting on. And on everybody to get in position. Seeley, he's fouled by Waller. He kind of oversold that. He was going to get the call anyway. So that's the second team foul on the Tigers already in this half. 6.46 to go. Muldrew in the far court. Brings it in. Lee's on him now. Jalen's done a nice job of shutting him down. Tigers for three. Open look. No good. Battle for the rebound. Tigers come away with it. Lee, oh, some fancy dribbling there. In the corner, Waller goes baseline. That's been there all night. Off the window, good. Oh, that was pretty. Ains done a really nice job. He's owned that baseline tonight. Springdale has not been able to stop it. Floater, Muldrew. Both teams kind of found a pretty good flow at times on offense. Williams for three. No good, Seeley with the easy rebound. Muldrew's got it. The lead is nine. Dogs trying to cut into it. Muldrew rejected by Miller. No sir, not on his watch. Five forty-nine. Seeley. Up top. Thought about it. Bates. Tangus. Bates pulls up from the free throw line. Won't go. Rebound. Tigers. Williams. Dowda. Wants to drive baseline. Nice move. Waller. Faked it. Got it up top to Williams. They'll reset. Here comes Mr. Lee. 13 on the shot clock. 5-10 to go in the quarter. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Lee to Waller. Up. He got fouled. They didn't call it. C 
Seeley wants to drive, pulls up. Waller with the rebound, got fouled by Bates, held on to it. No whistles though so far. Williams brings it down, goes to the lane, off the basket, good. Seeley draws, gives him the, the elbow and gets called for the foul. Got the free throw. I'll add it in just one second. There we go. 46-34, Tigers by 12. Bates, Tate. Didn't want any part of the Tigers inside. Muldrew, that one was from Rogers. Missed it, long rebound, battled for. I can't tell who's it off of. We can't see that portion of the floor as you can tell by our shot. Everybody's good to go. 416. Here comes the double team. Easily got it away. Inside Miller got an elbow from Tate. Kicks it out top. Good ball movement by the Tigers. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Mikey Dowder with a big three. Muldrew wanted to go to the lane. Rack got cut off. Celia deep three. That's no good. Miller with the rebound. Tigers looking to create some distance on this possession. Williams had it blocked. Waller goes up strong off the window, good. Aiden's been phenomenal. And Springdale wants a timeout and they're gonna get it. The Tigers are pulling away. 51 to 34. Let's take a timeout. Our house is tea time. Owning a home means there is a time and place for everything. If you need money for your next home loan, let Rock Mortgage help you get into your new home fast. Man, the Tigers are on a little bit of a run right now. 51 to 34. Starting to pull away. Springdale's starting to get a little panicky, if you will. I like the way the Tigers are playing right now. Okay. Trying to do work too and do the game. It's crazy. On a Saturday afternoon, we're glad you're with us on the Bentonville Sports Network. I'm Blair Cartwright. Glad to be bringing you the broadcast from Springdale, home of the Bulldogs. It's where I played ball or tried to. I never made the team. Back in. The early 80s. Floater no good. That's off of who? It's, I think, off us. Dog ball, 331 to go. Third quarter. Mulder gave it up. Tate inside, had it knocked loose by Deerman. They're going to say Owen fouled him. So Owen will be charged with the foul. Elijah's going to check in. Tate goes to the line for a pair, makes the first. Miller will come out and Wilhelm comes in. Tate missed that one. Wilhelm with the easy rebound. Jalen will bring it across. No, I know Xander's going to bring it across. Oh, and he turned it over. Here comes Seeley with a little flush. Oh, that was just sloppy. Got to do better than that. Got to do better than that. And then uh, we almost turned it over.
51-37 actually is our score. If that's correct. Deerman wants to drive, cut off Waller, baseline, got cut off by Bates, drew the foul and almost knocked it down. It's either on Tate or Bates, it's on Bates. Tate was like, oh, well, I didn't do it. It was on Bates. What a move by Waller on the baseline. He has just dominated that baseline today. He has been phenomenal, somehow finding an opening every time, finding a way to get the ball up. Free throw is good. Bates checks out, and Sanders checks in. 2.58 to go in the third. Got them both. Three games next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. At West, at Heritage, home against Harbor. Ooh, a big week for the Tigers and Lady Tigers. Almost knocked away by Jalen. Mulder wants to drive. Put an elbow into Jalen's chest. Drove on. They didn't whistle anything. Xander with the rebound. Springdale can't complain about that possession. Good Lord. Jalen thought about turning the tide. Now Mulder is up in his business. Xander off a scream from Wilhelm. That was pretty. Waller. 26 on the shot clock. No need to rush. Xander leaves it for Wilhelm. He's fouled from behind, but they didn't call it. Seeley blocked it from behind and came away with it. Seeley with the Euro step. Bricked it. They wanted contact. Might have got away with a walk, to be honest. Xander, oh my goodness, got clotheslined, and they're going to call him for a travel. Yeah, Coach Rip saying he got pushed. I don't disagree with him. Waller comes out, gets a nice hand from his teammates. He's played really well tonight. And I don't know what's going on with the PA system. No one seems to even notice. Three-pointers good. And now they're going to say something. 30-second timeout. Hey, about to turn the music off. Unbelievable. I know this is the last year for the gym, but good grief. Can you not turn that off? It's like being in an NBA game. 145 to go. Well, I guess it is legitimate. I thought they were just calling timeout to kill the music. But it was an actual timeout. Who took it? Uh, Springdale took it. So they're down to one. Oh, there. They finally killed the music. Thank you. Oh, it's back. One forty-five to go in the third. Springdale with some token pressure. Sanders on Williams. Gets it across the timeline. We're good there. Off the screen. Wilhelm. Williams off the window. No good. Oh, rebound goes to Bates. Oh, nice job by Jalen. Did not only deflect it, but go flying over the scorer's table in pursuit of it. Wow, that was a pretty athletic move. It never broke stride. He's good to go. Mulder's going to see Jalen in his sleep tonight. It's going to haunt him. He's going to wake up about 3 a.m. panicked. Seeley wants to drive. Got cut off by Dowda. Nice job. Mulder pulls up from way downtown. That's an air ball right in the hand of Bates. Oh, he leaned into, into Elijah, and they're going to call Elijah for a foul. Elijah stood his ground, and, and Bates just leaned. And that's, that's so, I don't know. I don't know what you do as a defender. I mean, you're standing, you're vertical. The offensive guy bounds into you, and they call you for the foul. Oh, well. Bates makes the free throw. 
12-point lead. Elijah comes out. Caden's back in. Waller's going to check back in. Owen will check out. Really bound scoring last night. I have no idea on the scoring this afternoon. Setup's a little different, and the computer's a little different, so I'm not able to track it like I normally do. Good grief. We need a timeout. We got it. That's just our first timeout of the ball game. It's going to be a full. So let's take the timeout with them. Tigers in control by 12 here in the third. Dad calls it the it factor. So that thing that separates you that makes you tick. Ultimately, my it factor came when I grew more confidence. Everybody has a role on a team, whether you're a scout team player or the star player. The older that I've gotten, the more that I've worked, and the more success that I've had, the more confidence that I had, and the more that I'm willing to risk and take a little bit of chances to help my team win. Four seconds remain in the third quarter. I mean, it's a 12-point lead. The Tigers have led most of the way. Really controlled it in the second. Controlled it most of the third, but Springdale's kind of hanging around. 12-point margin. Twenty-two on the shot clock for the Tigers. Williams thought about it. Miller leaves it for Lee. He got bumped from behind by Muldrew. Lee to the ten. Oh, get in there! He draws the contact. What a move by Jalen. That was nice. Tate's going to check back in. After the free throw, the first first of two. Get in there, it does. Tate will check in for Bates. Mueller's done a nice job keeping Tate from being a part of the Bulldog offense tonight. Jalen gets the second. Now Xander checks in, and Jalen looks like he might be hobbled just a little hint of a limp. The trainer's going to check on him as Seeley picks it up. Thirty-two seconds. Muldrew and Seeley playing. Catch on the perimeter. Seeley wants to drive against Waller and got it up and in. Here comes the pressure. No. Nope. Yeah, here it comes now. Williams. Got to get it across. Does. Shot clock's off and a foul on Sanders. 12.7. And that's the fourth team foul on Springdale. We have four as well, it looks like. Waller, some contact with Seeley, nothing called. Four, three, two, one. We lost out of bounds with .7 seconds. We just don't want to foul right here. We're going to try to put some pressure. Don't want to give him a good look, but you don't want to commit a foul. They're going to double team Muldrew. Let's uh We'll get it into Tate. He chunks one, and that's not going to make it in time. So we have reached the end of quarter number three, and the Tigers, with a 55 to 43 lead, will take a timeout and be back for the fourth quarter. Can the Tigers hang on here in Springdale? People do business with First Western because First Western builds relationships with their customers. They work to help you with your financial goals over all seasons of life. 
They are prompt and responsive. Plus, they offer banking, mortgage, insurance, and investment services. For a high level of service and financial partner who will listen and respond, try First Western. Online at firstwestern.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Insurance investment products are not FDIC insured. Back here in Springdale awaiting the start of quarter number four. Good Lord, that was ridiculous. Saw Ma Mill girls beat East End like 58 to 6. That's ridiculous. Miller in the paint. Williams, Miller, nice move. Get in there with the left hand and wouldn't go. Sanders missed the open three, and somehow the rebound batted around, and Seeley somehow knocks it off of Williams. Wow. Gazaway, Muldrew, back to Gazaway. Seeley, he's not hesitant. Oh my goodness, he drains it. Well, and here comes the pressure. Nine point game, and that's a foul on Sanders. Yeah, he hip checked him. Can't do that. That's frowned upon. Five team fouls now on Springdale. How many on us? Four. Williams. Miller. Oh, just a little high. Muldrew off a of snowbird. Oh, he gets. I thought Williams had it clean. They're going to call Javen for the foul. Said he pushed in. Got him with the body, I guess. Hmm. Muldrew to the line, 6.39 to go. Springdale hanging around, missed a free throw. That was big. And he got the second. We got to get it in. Now we got to get it across the timeline. The pressure, Williams gets it across. This makes you a little nervous. Drive to the paint, Miller couldn't find an opening. Oh my goodness, there's a slick spot on the floor. A couple Bulldogs go flying, and then we got a foul on Springdale. That's gonna be on Seeley. Wow, I mean like a couple Bulldogs right on that Super S logo. Just Little rascal, whoa, flying. That's a big possession. That was a big break for the Tigers. Never going to have an easy deuce otherwise. Deerman's got it in the backcourt. 6.15 to go in regulation. Counting it down slowly but surely. Tigers, no need to rush. No need to hurry. Time is on our on our side, so to speak. Miller. Oh, knocked away by Tate. Right to Jalen. Spins. Oh, Tate got the block. Looked like he got some hand, too. Miller hits the deck. He's a little hobbled. Cadence 
Struggling to get down the floor. There's a three on the way, no good. Tate with an easy rebound. Oh my gosh, he just ran over Caden Miller, and they're going to call Caden for a block. Are you kidding me? Oh, Coach Rip can't believe it. And so Tate's going to shoot too. Wow. I thought Caden was in there. He could have read a newspaper. He was firmly entrenched with position. But the official did not agree. So Tate knocks down the free throw. And it's starting to get a little tight. Deerman checks out. So we've got Mikey, Aiden, Caden, Javen, and Jalen on the floor. He missed the second. Donna brings it across. Wants to drive, gets cut off. Leaves it for Waller. Now up top, here's Miller. Lee. Through the dogs in the paint. Miller almost had it. Couldn't control it. It was off Waller, too. Just oh, inches, inches from having an easy putback. And Coach Rip wants to take a timeout. Can't say I blame him. We'll take the timeout as well. Tigers trying to hold on here in Springdale. In this part of the country, it's a way of life. You're going about your day without a cloud in the sky. Then suddenly, you find yourself wondering how solid your home really is. With nearly 25 years of certified experience, let our team give you the same assurance on a stormy night that you feel on a clear afternoon. Before the downpour, before the leaks, call Foster Roofing. Serving Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley since 1994. Five twenty-one to go in regulation. Fifty-five forty-eight. Tigers in front. Springdale just kind of keeps hanging around. Tigers are playing well. Springdale's a pretty good ball club. I mean, both teams. This is a big one. Both teams came in tonight with identical 7-2 and two conference records. Looking for that eighth conference win to join Harbor at 8-2. Harbor's off tonight. You see some Harbor students here. And then West hosting Fayetteville tonight. West leads the conference at 8-1. and one. And with the nine-team league, there's always somebody that's got one more game than the other. It's crazy. And we'll make up the three games next week. West Heritage Harbor. We're talking about three big games. Dogs playing keep away. Muldrew, he had it blocked. Great defense by the Tigers. Great defense. Williams comes away with it. Phenomenal defense by Bentonville. Miller, spin move. They wanted to travel. He lost the ball, hits the deck, trying to call timeout, and got it. Springdale wanted to travel. I didn't see the travel. I thought it was a great spin move by Caden, to be quite honest. Maybe I'm biased. Uh, could be. Who knows? We'll take the timeout. We know you've heard it before. Everybody wants to buy your car from ads online, messages, phone calls. We get it. It can be overwhelming when you have so many people constantly trying to get a hold of you for this. If you want a process that's easy and you don't have to deal with that, come see me and my team down here at McClarty Daniel. We'd love to get you taken care of and get the best market value for you and your vehicle. Come see us down here at McClarty Daniel Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bentonville. Four forty-five to go in regulation. Seventeen on the shot clock. It'll be Tiger basketball in front of their bench. And you see the empty chair. I'll zoom in real quick. The empty chair. You see the T-shirt. The TYGB. Thank you, Grandpa Bill. I would imagine that's probably going to be the way it is the rest of the year, and that's pretty cool. Floater got rejected by Tate. Oh man, Jalen hit the deck hard. Nine. Are they calling a jump ball? Jalen, he is 
in some pain right now. He's in some discomfort. I don't, I don't know if he took it. Looked like he might have got poked. He is kind of having to catch his breath. They're going to call jump ball. You see Jalen's been over. He doesn't, he doesn't want to come out. But he's in some pain. And the official wiping up some perspiration on the baseline where Jalen hit the deck. He's not happy right now. He's probably going to take it out on the Bulldogs. 4.38 to go. 10 on the shot clock. Seven, six, five. Williams is going to have to throw one up. Miller's going to have to throw it up. They don't see it. Shot clock violation. Uh, didn't see it. Got to have better awareness than that. Coach Rip saying that's my fault. I should have told you. 4.25 to go. Muldrew trying to shield the ball without the clock running. Now picks it up. Lee guards him. Pretty heady play, actually. Seeley. Miller might have altered that one. They're going to say it's off a of Tiger. Springdale ball, 412 left, 24 on the shot clock. It still is like the North Little Rock football press box where you're looking in into the stadium, but you're not in the stadium. It's kind of the view I feel like we have here. We're in the gym, but I feel like we're voyeuristic in a way. Tangus for three. Oh, that was a big three for the dogs. And now here comes some token pressure. They got the crowd into it. A lot of contact. There we go. Four point lead. Blocked. Tangus, he's on the end line. Into the bench, the officials come in. I thought he was on the sideline when he got it. And what are we going to call? What is the call? They're calling a the foul on the Tigers, I guess. Looks like we got free throws coming. Wow. Both teams in the bonus now. Wow. Jeez, I don't know what precipitated that. Just a basketball play. Well, ball don't lie, right? 3.36 to go. Get it across the timeline. There we go. All right, we're in good shape now. Williams. Miller. Back to Williams. Four-point game. It's gotten tight. Oh, almost a steal. Oh, we still got it, though. A lot of contact. Coach Rip wanted to call. Jalen. No. Dada with the rebound. Tangus had it, too, but he's on the end line. He's griping. I don't know what he wanted. Oh, he wanted over the back, but he was clearly on the end line holding the ball. 33 on the shot clock. 3-12 on the game clock. Got to get it in. Lee for three. This would be big. No. Tangus with the rebound. Oh, goodness. Springdale going to take their time. Seeley wants to drive. Oh, lowers his body into Caden. And Caden with the big block. Great job by the big man. Jalen. No. Miller with the rebound and a flush. Take that. Take that, dogs. Oh, and a steal. Jalen. Oh, and one. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, the Tigers with the little 
emphasis. 2.30 to go in the ball game. Oh, what a huge four-point swing. And Jalen still has a free throw to go. Wow, the Springdale folks are quiet. The Bentonville fans making noise. Oh, he missed the free throw. Long rebound. Seeley's got it. But that four-point swing is huge. That makes it an eight-point game. Tangus fakes the three. Muldrew. Oh, that was from the county line. That was off the mark. Tangus with the rebound. Seeley. He wants to drive. Pull-up jumper is good. Six-point game. Here comes the pressure. Tigers see it and get it across. Nice. Everybody on their feet. Well, the Tiger folks are. The Springdale people are still sitting down. Miller. Oh, spin move. Lost it momentarily. Got it back. Nice job. Cross court. Dowda wants to drive. Backs it out. Ten on the shot clock. Miller comes up. Set a screen maybe. Mikey leaves it. Waller. Baseline drive off the window. Wouldn't go. See the with the rebound. Waller's a little slow to get up. Springdale for three. No. Lee with the rebound. Says that's mine. And Muldrew fouls him. And Jalen's going to the line for the one one That's the eighth team foul on Springdale. One twenty-seven left. Big free throw. They're all big at this point. 60-53. One more coming. Tigers will concede the rebound if he misses. And he did. Oh, used all the rim, but it came out. Seeley kicks it out in the corner. Sanders thought about it. Nobody shoots it. Tate. They're wasting a lot of time. Backs down. Miller says no. Oh, Caden Miller with a huge block. We can work clock. No big deal. Seeley chasing Lee. He's got that look in his eye. Off the window. Oh, Jalen Lee. Nasty. And what do we got here? We got a foul? Yeah, they're going to call Williams for a foul. Under a minute to go, 52.4. Oh, the Tigers. Oh, man, some plays down this stretch. Oh, oh, God, this team is fun. So much fun to watch. Muldrew at the line. The clock is stopped. Got the first. Still not over. Another basket for us probably do it. Dearman's going to check in if he makes it. He missed it, though. Miller with the rebound. Gets it over to Mr. Lee. And Muldrew just takes a swing at Jalen. I mean, not a swing like a punch, but a swing at the ball and fouls Jalen. It's a little over-aggressive, and that'll stop the clock. 47.7. That was close to an intentional. Tate is dismayed sitting at the end of the bench. I don't know if he's injured his back or what, but he's laying down on the floor. Jalen's first free throw rattles home. Nine-point lead for the Tigers. Oh, they're stretching Tate out. That's what it is. He's going to cramp most likely. Second free throw is good. All right, that's big. Ten-point lead. Should be. Yeah, there we go. Whoops, over too far. Dogs get a basket. Eight-point lead, 36.2 left, and they foul Jalen, and that's probably not the guy you really want to foul. But, you know, whatever. That'll work.
First free throw, no good, off the mark. See y'all. One more coming for Mr. Lee. That one is good. Dogs are gonna go quickly. Muldrew, they're passing up open threes. Seeley, wow. Timeout, Springdale. That's their last timeout. 27 seconds left. It's gonna be a full. We'll take the timeout with them. Tigers holding on here in Springdale. Grand Savings Bank, we believe that life is grand. We empower our team to support the needs of our local communities and are dedicated to delivering the very best financial expertise to our customers. Like you, we live here, and together we positively and powerfully impact our community. With 11 locations serving Northwest Arkansas, Northeast Oklahoma, and the River Valley, we're proud to be your community bank. Come talk to us today at Grand Savings Bank, where life is grand. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We've had fun this afternoon, I think. <laughs> 27 seconds left. Man, what plays down the stretch for the Tigers. Springdale has made it interesting, but the Tigers, man, made some, made some plays now. Support these guys. Tuesday night at West. Wednesday night at Heritage. Friday night at home against Harbor. Big week ahead for the Tigers and Lady Tigers. 27 seconds left in regulation. 65-49. Six-point game. Still far from over. Got it in. That's number one. Lee across the team line. That is number two. And then fouled by Seeley. And that's ten. And we're in the double bonus. So we are shooting a lot of free throws. Cecily is just fouling out of the ball game. Two shots for Jalen Lee. Got it. Whoops, one too many. 66 59. One more coming, 23.2 left. Got that one. Eight point lead. Just don't do anything crazy. Uh -huh. They're gonna call Jalen on the perimeter and it stops the clock with 20.5. Ah, uh, well that's the ninth team foul on us. Mm. 20.5. Yeah. This one to make it a two possession game. I've seen crazier things happen in the last 20 seconds. Oh, I missed it though. That's big. Miller with the rebound. Gets it to Dearman. He's fouled immediately by Sanders with 18.5 left. So Owen's going to go to the line for a pair. And hopefully knock these two down. And then it's a three possession game. I don't know. It's going to be a big ask with 18.5 to get three, squeeze three possessions out of that. Easily knocks the first one down. Missed it, uh, but that's okay. The clock starts because they touched it. They need threes, and they're passing around. That is a three. No, it's a two. It's a two. His foot was on the line. That should do it, and 3.6, and they foul Jalen. Um, don't think Coach Price really wanted him to do the foul there because point margin becomes 
really big with the triple a points with with this big log jam at the top of the conference margin of victory figures into that so you don't want to give a team any additional opportunities to score Jalen with two free throws here. The first one is good. And the Tigers gonna get out of here with a big win. Missed it. And that's gonna do it. Tigers win it 69 to 62. 18 and four now, two game winning streak, eight and two in conference play. And we got three coming up next week. Join us for those Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, at West on Tuesday, at Heritage on Wednesday, at home against Harbor on Friday. Hope to see you in the friendly confines of Tiger Arena. If you can't join us two other two nights, see you Friday night. So on behalf of everybody, behalf of athletic directors Scott Passmore and Chris Hutchinson. I'm Blair Carr. I thank you for Hutchins, not Hutchinson. Hutchins. Sorry, Chris. Thank you for joining us tonight. This, I guess it is night now. It's 641. So, until Tuesday night, as always, go Tigers! <laughs>